What's up y'all and welcome back to my channel. Today is Monday and if you've been here, you know what that means. It is time for another episode of New Makeup Monday. But if you are new here, this is a series on my channel where we sit down every single Monday and we go over all of the new products that have been announced, released, and sneak peeked over the past week. We go over them together, we judge them. Is it something we want, something we're gonna skip on? Maybe we already purchased it or it just simply should have never been brought into fruition. Either way, please keep in mind that this video is just for fun. And if you love something that I hate, that's okay. Beauty is not a one size fits all, which is what makes it so much fun. Now, I do link as many of these products as I can down in the description box with prices, release dates, all the things, as much info as possible. So if you're curious about anything or if you need to go back and check, that is where you need to look. Also, I did film this look. It will be up on my channel as a short very soon, but everything that I'm wearing will be down in the description box as well in case you are curious. But without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and scooch over and we're gonna jump into all the new releases. Right, y'all let's go ahead and dive into this we don't have a whole lot to talk about it was a little quiet this week but we do have some exciting things coming up or things that have just been released but let's go ahead and start with essence because they have a new collection coming out and this is the got a crush on apricots collection this includes an aura blush a baked highlighter jelly lip care swirl lip gloss nail stickers scrunchy duo freckles pen and a fuzzy space face sponge I think this is cute. I really like it. I, It's very on trend. It is the Pantone color of the year, which is like, what's it called? I can't remember the name of it. It's something peach, peach fuzz. That's the name of it. And this is very on trend with it. I think it's cute. I've really gotten into more affordable makeup lately. And I definitely want to pick some of these up, if not the entire collection, but I think it's cute. I'm actually really excited about it. So yeah, I want to try it out, see what it's all about, but let me know what you think of it. All right, we have a couple of new releases from Bare Minerals. Let's go ahead and start right here with the Complexion Rescue Liquid Highlighting Blush. These are $28 a piece. It does come in five different shades, and it says it is a gel cream formula that combines the glow of a highlighter with the flush of a blush in one step. It's a silky, blurring mineral microspheres that blend effortlessly into the skin to blur pores and imperfections. It's a blush highlighter hybrid, and it's going to smooth the look of skin imperfections. It has all day wear, dermatologist tested safe for all skins non-comedogenic cruelty free vegan vegan clean the whole shebang um these are cute these are something that i could be interested in maybe not right off the bat maybe next time i'm placing an order from ulta or something like that i might add one or two of these to the cart just to check it out see what the formula is like it seems Looking at the swatches, it seems to me like it's going to be more of a liquid blush, but I'm into it, I'm here for it. Everybody is coming out with liquid products and glowy products. Like that seems to be the standalone theme of the upcoming season, like summer. We're all going to be just glowing to the gods and I'm here for it. But sticking on the Bare Minerals train, they're also coming out with the Complexion Rescue Liquid Blonzer. These are $28, it's in five different shades. And if you look at the shade names, they're the same ones as the um, potted blonzers that they already have. So they've got, you know, Kiss of Rose, Kiss of Mauve, Kiss of Spice, Kiss of Copper, Kiss of Pink. These are beautiful. These could be a little bit more up my alley than the other ones, but I still want to try both and kind of, you know, see what the difference is, see what the pigmentation difference is, things like that. But these have the same um, claims as the other one, except these are more of a bronze highlighter duo. So it's going to give you more of that not bronze highlighter, but bronze blush dues, duo. So it's going to, oh my lord, y'all. It's going to give you more of that blush and bronzer duo, kind of like a one step. So like I said, I'm curious. Both of these are in the back of my mind. They're going to go on my wish list whenever they come to Ulta. And at some point I will pick them up and try them. But like I said, just not right off the bat. 
Last thing from Bare Minerals though, they have come out with the Pure Protection Original Mineral Veil Set and Protect Translucent Powder. So basically this is a translucent powder on the go. It's got the little brush on the end and it looks like you just fluff it on. It's got some SPF in it, SPF 25 to be exact. It says it's gonna have no flashback. Perfect for all skin types, even the most sensitive. I think this is going to be a pass for me. I'm not the kind of person that powders throughout the day because I don't get super oily and I prefer to carry around my um, Kate Somerville setting spray that has SPF in it. During the summer, I usually throw that in my bag. That way I can kind of reapply my sunscreen throughout the day because it does get so hot here and that sun gets brutal. We hit like 110 degree temperatures, if not higher and it's brutal, but I think this is good if you have oily skin and you're looking to kind of reapply your sunscreen throughout the day while also absorbing oil. I think this is a really cute release from the brand. This next one is from a brand that I've never heard of and the brand is Pink Honey and they're coming out with the Freckly Freckle Pen. Freckle pens have been very popular lately. I've never tried one before. I'm kind of curious because I do naturally have freckles and I've seen people put them on and it just makes it look like they really have a no makeup makeup look. So I really want to try them out. I'm interested. I don't know if this is the one that I want to try out though, but I do like the tip of it. It's got like that little ball tip and I'm looking at the other pictures. It looks like it goes on really nice. Um, these are not very expensive either. They are only $11 and 43 cents a piece and they do come in how many different shades four different shades so light medium dark and espresso so I don't know I wouldn't even know what color to get let me know if you've tried a freckle pen before which one is your favorite and if it comes in different colors like what would you recommend for me because I really want to try this out I'm curious I just don't know really where to begin so I don't know I don't know if I want to pick this one up or not let me know what you think I'm curious to know Another product that has been kind of on the trend tra train lately are the um, the shadow sticks and Clinique has come out with one as well. It is the High Impact Shadow Play Shadow and Definer Eyeshadow Pencil. I wish brands would come out with shorter names. These are just, it's a lot, it's a mouthful. But these are $34 a piece and it does come in an array of different shades. Um, these are really pretty. I just don't think that these are going to be for me. Um, I've only tried one of the ones in the past that has like the cream shadow on one end and the, what's it called, the powder on the other end and I think it was from Surratt. I didn't like it. I gave it to a friend because I just, I didn't get along with it. I prefer just the cream shadow stick portion and if I'm going to go in with a powder, I will just dig into either a single or an eyeshadow palette. So these are going to be a pass for me, but if you're interested in these products and you like these kind of products for your eyes, Clinique now has one. They have a bunch of shades. Clinique has a lot of hidden gems in their line, so don't, don't discount the brand. They've been around forever and they just, they're a good brand all together. They just really are. Jones Road has come out with a new product as well. It is the new lippy stick, but instead of just the clear that they've always had, they now have them in different shades. So they are $22 a piece and it comes in 11 different shades. Um, these are kind of cool. I'm there's a lot of things from Jones Road that I'm interested. I've tried the balms before. I've tried the Wet the Foundation. I hated both of those. They were not for my skin, although now I'm a little more on the drier side. It might be for me. It might be something to retry now that my skin has changed. But I do really enjoy the bronzer that I have from the brand, and I've heard really good things about the concealer stick, things like that. So I don't know. I might pick up a couple of things from the brand. Not right now. Some of it's going to have to wait. I have still have my big Sephora order coming. I have some other things coming. There's just a lot coming out. But um, yeah, these are really neat. I like them. I like the colors. I think the colors are very pretty. They're more of just that flush of color. So yeah, I think these might go on the wish list. Let's talk indie makeup for just a minute. So Bella Beauty Bar has already announced that they're coming out with their Secret Garden palette, brushes, and a um, magnetic palette that releases this coming Sunday, the t or Monday, I'm sorry, this coming Monday, the 22nd. And with that release, they are also coming out with their Lip Dewy Plumping Lip Oils, which I might have to pick one up. These look like they are kind of like 
the exact same component as the Dior. I've never tried the Dior before, but I think these are really pretty. They look really nice. Any brands just tend to, I don't know, put a little bit more love into their products. And I, I really enjoy testing new products from any brand. So I might pick one of those up with the Secret Garden palette, but they're also coming out with six eyeshadow singles as well. So they're coming out with what looks like three different hollows and three just different shimmer shades. These are beautiful. Um, I don't know if I'll pick any of these up or not just because the eyeshadow palette is already a little bit more on the pricier side and it's gonna have some of these more sparkly shades in it, some of the holochromes, multichromes, things like that. So I think I will probably pass on these, but I'm definitely gonna pick up the palette and I will definitely pick up probably at least one of the lip oils. Bobbi Brown is coming out with a new highlighter. This is the Highlight and Glow. It is a Petal Glow Translucent Opal Sheen with Pink Pearl. I think this is beautiful. Um, I'm going to pass on it though. I have a whole bunch of new highlighters that I'm testing out. I do have a Bobbi Brown highlighter that I absolutely love, but this looks like it's just going to be a little bit too icy for me and just something that... I don't know, I think it's absolutely beautiful, but do I need it? No, I don't need it. Not to mention it's $56. Now I know that I've spent some money on some highlighters, but I love my Bobbi Brown highlighter, but not enough that I would be convinced to spend that kind of money on another Bobbi Brown highlighter, if that makes any sense. So while it's beautiful, I love the packaging, I love the pan embossing, it just, it speaks to my soul. I'm going to resist and I'm going to pass on this one as well. Okay, real quick, I know we've talked about these before in another New Makeup Monday video, but it is the Maybelline Skin Kisser Blushes. They're liquid blush formula. They look like they have a shimmer to them. Um, we don't really have any new information except for it comes in six different colors. Um, right now they're only available in Germany, but we do have a release date for the United States and it is going to be May 1st. So these are coming very soon in just a couple of weeks. They'll be available online and in all of their retailers, uh, Target, Walmart, Ulta, all the jazz. I definitely want to pick up a couple of these. That pink one and like that very nudie one. What shade is that? Um, Blazing Blush and So Coral. Those are calling my name. I definitely want to try this out, see what the formula's like, see how they wear, all of that. I, like I said before, I know I'm a broken record. I'm really, really enjoying drugstore affordable makeup. I've gotten a bunch of new things lately that I absolutely love. I'm actually wearing one of the Maybelline eyeshadow sticks on my eyes today. These are so good. They hold up. I don't have a primer on underneath them and you can wear a shimmer on over them or just by themselves and they don't crease. They blend beautifully. So I am definitely intrigued in these. Sigma has come out with a new brush set. This is the Soft Coverage Brush Set. It's a five-piece face brush set that's meticulously curated for achieving soft coverage makeup looks with ease. Crafted with precision, each brush in this set is expertly designed to blend and apply makeup seamlessly, leaving you with flawless glass skin. Um, I am ridiculously interested in these. I don't need any brushes right now. Eventually I will pick these up. I don't need any brushes. I really want to try them. There's other things that are coming out, so I have to kind of pick and choose wisely, but they are available now. And right now you can get them on sale for $96 and 80 cents for the entire bundle. They are sold separately as well, but let me tell you what brushes are in this. There's, so there is a soft coverage of a soft coverage brush to apply and blend liquid or cream foundations or skin tints. There's the soft angled concealer brush to apply and blend concealer or color correctors. The soft angled cheek brush for sculpting the cheeks for soft dimension. The soft sculpt brush, which is softly sculpting the face with powder formulas. And the precision powder brush precisely applies setting powders. So like I said, these are available now. They will be linked down below. Um, I know that there's a bunch of codes flying around. And if you sign up for Sigma text messages, they are always doing sales. So if you don't get them now, don't feel like you're going to miss out. Wait, they'll go on sale again. That's what I'm going to do. Just, just because right now I don't need any more brushes, but I definitely, definitely want to try these out because I do really enjoy Sigma brushes. 
We have another new release from Sephora. They have come out with their lip butter. So this is a nourishing lip butter. It's a collection of vegan lip butters that are made with 95% natural ingredients that melt into lips to nourish and provide hydration for up to 12 hours. These are $8 a piece. They're available now. As of this moment, the Sephora sale is still going on. It does end today at midnight. So if you're interested in anything else, remember you can get 30% off of all the Sephora collection brands. So you can get 30% off of these if you want them um, but that sale does end tonight so if there's anything left that you want go ahead and finish out your order but these are cute um, they're not for me I don't I don't prefer the potted lip things I don't like to put my finger in there and I don't like to carry around like a little scraper thingy I do have one that I keep by my bed at night that I put on my lips but just during the day and stuff like that I'm just not a big fan of them but I like it. I like the claims of it. I like the flavors of it, but yeah, so this is going to be a pass for me. Exa Beauty just dropped a new concealer stick. These are $28 a piece. They come in 28 different shades. It says it is an ultra smooth glide on stick concealer with a natural second skin finish and medium buildable coverage infused with vitamin E and plum oil. Um, I've never tried anything from this brand before either. I don't know. I could be convinced. I love complexion products, y'all. I really do. Do I need another concealer? No. Do I need another foundation? No. Do I need any of this? No. But do I want it? That's the big question. I don't know. I'm kind of curious about this. I'm kind of interested. Maybe. I don't know. We're going to put this on the maybe. We're going to take a step back and put this on the maybe, but I do like the shade range. I think it looks beautiful. I like the ad campaign. Campaign. It's very inclusive. Uh, I do think they maybe could have done a few more deeper shades, but the undertones look really nice on these. So for now, this is going to be a maybe. Okay, we have some new releases from Glaminatrix. Let's jump into this. First, they have come out with their Glimmering, their Glimmering Creatures Volume 3 bundle. This is six different, just beautiful, shimmery eyeshadow shades. I think these are absolutely stunning, but you can get all six of them for approximately $45 USD. I did have to translate from Australian dollars to US, and roughly it's about $45. Um, they have also come out with their new Diamond Metallic Quads. There are three different bundles of those and those are roughly $19 a piece. If you purchase all three of them, you do get like a bundle discount and they have also come out with lip liners and lipsticks. So they've come out with three different liners and three different lipsticks. Um, they are, the lipsticks are roughly $16 a piece. The liners are roughly $14 a piece. Again, if you purchase all of them, you do get like a bundled discount, but I did purchase all three of the quads and I did purchase one liner and one lipstick. So I'm super excited about them. I meant to purchase the Glimmering Creatures bundle and I completely forgot. I got so into looking at the shades of the liners and the lipsticks that I forgot, but they're not going anywhere. They'll be around for their next release. So maybe I'll purchase them then because I don't want to place another purchase just because their shipping is a little bit higher. It's not outrageous, but it is a little bit higher. It bumps it up. so. If it was a, a more local brand, I'd be more inclined to just go back and order them again, but I'm not going to. But anyways, I'm excited. I think these are beautiful. From what I understand, the two green shades and like the nude shade, the mattes and the quads, those are in the, what is it? The something of the night eyeshadow palette that they came out with. So those are repeat shades. Other than that, the other three shades are new and so are all of the shimmers. So just keep that in mind if you decide to purchase this, that you may not need all of the bundles or if you do get the bundles, you might get some repeat shades. I don't think that these are sold individually either, but I'm excited. Like I said, I ordered a lip liner and a lipstick. I don't remember what shades I ordered. I think I ordered... Oh, I think I ordered Gracious for the lipstick and, ooh, I have no idea for the liner. Don't even ask. Maybe the Gracious for the lip liner. I don't remember. Anyways, whenever I get these, we're going to do a video doing one look with each quad, trying on the lip, checking it out, seeing what the formula is all about. I've really been enjoying Glaminatrix. The last order that I got with the eyeshadow palette and the blushes, I really love. So those are available now on their website. It will be linked down below in case you're interested. 
Lethal Cosmetics has come out with a new collection. It's the Mellow Grove collection. This is already launched. It is available now on their website. It will be linked down below. But the collection includes the Mellow Grove eyeshadow palette, which is a 15 pan eyeshadow palette, the Charged Mascara in three new spring colored, um, three new spring colors, which is Spark, which is a bright fuchsia. Current is a bright turquoise. Static is a deep periwinkle. And they also came out with a brush cleaner. And it looks like it's one of those in the little tin that you kind of swirl your brush in kind of like a, a sigma switch type thing but um one of the ones that has you know what I, you know what i'm talking about anyways they've come out with all of those i did order the eyeshadow palette i skipped on the mascaras i'm not interested i've heard their mascara is not the best and their colors that i just wouldn't wear and then i skipped on the brush cleaner as well because i do have my sigma switch and i have um other quick cleaning eyeshadow brush thingies. <laughs> Anyways, I did order the eyeshadow palette. I think it's beautiful. I really love the color story. It's very unique to me. It's very soft but deep and sultry at the same time, so I'm excited about it. I do have one other palette from the brand, and I love the formula of it. I love their shimmer shades. Um, Lethal is a German indie brand, so yeah, as soon as that gets here, we'll do a video with that one, trying it on, seeing what the palette is like, checking out the color story, do some more swatches, things like that. I am excited about that one. Okay, we have a new release from e.l.f. And are we surprised by this? No, I think it's about time. I kept waiting for this one, but it is the e.l.f. Skin Bronzing Drops. It's basically a dupe of the drunk elephant bronzing drops like i've been waiting for this to come out but um yeah these are 12 dollars a piece it comes in three different shades they're available now on their website but they're not actually like out so it's one of those where if you're a rewards member or you have an account with them you can sign in and purchase them otherwise you can't so they're available like why wouldn't you just sign up for the account if you don't have one but i did order them they're on their way, as well as some of their other new releases. I ordered the setting spray. I ordered, um, I think they had a new bronzer. I ordered the brow pencil. I just, I ordered some things because I had like a reward coupon and I really wanted to try these and see what they were like. So yeah, um, I'm not surprised this came out. I think it's a good release from the brand. If these are really good, I think they're going to do fantastic. Okay, this one's cute. This one isn't really makeup related, but yet it is. Rare Beauty has launched dog toys. These are limited edition. They're $18 a piece, and it looks like you can get either the mascara or you can get the um, the blush. These are super cute, but y'all, my dog would destroy these in five seconds. That's what she does. That's exactly what she does. She looks all cute and innocent, but y'all, let me show you something. Let me show you. Her favorite toy in the whole world is this faceless sloth. Why he's not destroyed, I don't know. These are the only three toys that she has not destroyed. They sit on the bed, they're always here. Everything else, she immediately digs into them, starts pulling out the stuffing, pulling everything out, and then we just have like remains of toys around the house. So as cute as these are, they wouldn't last very long, but I do think it's adorable. I absolutely love it. I don't know where the correlation is between dog toys and makeup, but I'm here for it. I love it. It's right up my alley. And if she didn't destroy everything that she came in contact with, I would buy both of them for her ASAP. But these are available now on her website, and I think that these are just, they're really cute. Okay, we have a new skincare release this week. This one comes to us from Moira, and this is the Oil Control Skincare Collection. So we have a 5.7% AHA Gentle Liquid Exfoliant that removes dead skin cells and smooths fine lines. Uh, the 10% niacinamide and 1.9% salicylic acid oil control serum minimizes shine and pores, targets redness and blemishes. And then the 10% niacinamide oil control moisturizer reduces shine, controls oil, and soothes skin. All three of these products are available individually as well as in a bundle. Um, it's available now on their website. So, you know, if you have oily skin or maybe you have a teenager that has oily skin because these are not very expensive. I'm looking at them right now. The um, moisturizer is $22 and the other two products are $18.50 a piece. So these may absolutely be perfect if you have like a hormonal teenager in your life that needs some oil control and acne control. I don't need it. My boys have their own skincare routine, but when they run out, this might be something that I might be interested in picking up for them. 
okay, we're gonna carry on this glow train because I told y'all we're gonna be glowy this summer. And ColourPop is up next. They have come out with the Liquid Light Glow Drops. This is a liquid highlighter. Um, it's for the face and the body. It says it's a weightless formula that glides across the skin and blends easily and evenly for the prettiest pop of radiance while vegan squalene boosts hydration. You can wear it alone, mix it with your foundation, tinted moisturizer, add some drops to your lotion. The limit does not exist. And I love it, I'm excited about it. It comes in three different shades. There are dollars a piece I ordered one it's on the way I'm excited about it I ordered the champagne shade because I do have a liquid highlighter in my Sephora haul that whenever that gets here eventually I'll be able to try on and that one's pink so I ordered the champagne shade so we're gonna try it on see what the formula is like ColourPop has always been a little bit more like hit or miss for me but lately with their reformulations and the new products that they've been releasing I've really been enjoying them I did also order a lip liner and a lip plump clicky thing as well so yeah I've been busy it's coming but I'm excited keep trucking along with highlighter L'Oreal is coming out with the infallible freshwear highlighter illuminator and this is beautiful I love the infallible um, foundation it's one of my absolute favorites I just used it in my affordable makeup video it's my favorite foundation from the drugstore I've used it for years I've never tried the blush or the bronzer but now they're coming out with a highlighter so maybe I need all three See, this is what these brands do to me. They do things like that. And I'm like, well, maybe I need to try it all. It's all or nothing, right? You got to go all in. So we'll see. But I do think that the highlighters are beautiful. Um, I'm really liking the deeper shade of this one over the lighter one. I feel like the lighter one is just a little too icy. I'm not a fan of like the white icy shades. I like something that has a little bit of a tone to it. Pink highlighters are my favorite, but I do think this is beautiful. They are $13 a piece and they are coming very soon. If I know a date, it will be down in the description box. Otherwise, I'll let you know when they launch. YSL is coming out with a new lip product and this is the Love Shine Candy Glow Tinted Butter Balm. So this comes in six different shades and it says it's a nourishing formula including passion fruit oil with pop of color and sheer glow finish. Um, I really, really love my YSL Candy Glaze lip glosses. I love those so, so much. I have one, I did order another shade, but um, I don't know, I could be intrigued with this. The last one that they released that was more like a high shine lipstick, I didn't really care for, but this one I could get on board with because I like to throw either just a gloss or like a tinted balm or something like that in my purse for when I'm out and about so I can just easily throw it on. I'm not here to try and line my lips, throw on a lipstick, a liquid lipstick, anything like that when I'm out and about, but I could definitely kind of get on this train. So I don't know. I think it's something that I would definitely have to wait on. Maybe put it in my loves list, pick it up for the next Sephora sale. I know we're like months out from that one because we're still at the end of this one right here, but I just don't think it's anything that I need to like leap on and try out. If you're curious about it, I'm sure somebody else will pick it up and review it, but I like the shades. I think they're beautiful and this is, this is going to go on the wish list. All right, let's talk Dolce and Gabbana for a minute because we talked about them Oh, was it last week or the week before? I can't remember, but they have released a new skin tint, a lip oil, a liquid lipstick, things like that. I linked them down below and I don't know what happened because they were available and then I went back to order it because I wanted to order the skin tint and try it out and it was gone. It was nowhere to be found. It wasn't on their website. It wasn't on Saks Fifth Avenue. It was nowhere. And then all of a sudden it came out that it was available, but it's available on the Dolce & Gabbana website only and the shipping from Dolce & Gabbana is absolutely ridiculous. I was like, yeah, no, that like increases the price by $20. It's not happening, but they've come out with more products. So I just wanted to put that little disclaimer out there as to the whole thing, because I did have somebody ask me over on Instagram about the link for it. They were like, it's gone, you know, where can I get it? And I was like, uh, good question. It is available at Dolce & Gabbana. So I did link the website down below and it takes you to all of their new products. But let's get onto this train of what they've come out with recently. 
So they have come out with the cheek and eye match blushes in six different colors. These are $50 a piece. The face and eyes match bronzers in five shades for $54 a piece. The fig skin perfector powder for $52 and the bergamot glow primer for $52. Um, I think that these are absolutely beautiful, but I am going to pass on them for now. I think if they were to come to like Nordstrom or Saks Fifth Avenue, something like that, something a little more accessible where I can either order them and go pick them up, get free shipping, maybe a less expensive shipping, I might be more inclined to order them. But yeah, I just, you know, just not off the Dolce & Gabbana website. Like, like I said, I was all ready to purchase it straight from them. And it was like a $53 skin tint. And by the time they added tax and shipping, it was almost $80. And I was like, yeah, no, absolutely not. But anyways, I would love to try these. I really am intrigued by the blushes. I'm intrigued by the bronzers. I want to know what the formula is like. Are they pigmented? Are they more on like the higher pigmentation like YSL seems to be? Or are they more on the subtle side like Guerlain, Chanel, things like that? So I'm curious. Eventually, I would love to pick these up. But for now, it's going to be a pass for me. This is also going to be a pass for me and it might surprise you. Melt Cosmetics is coming out with their Smoke Sessions 2 collection and this is a, it's a purple collection. So the collection includes a Smoke Sessions 2 palette, the So High Waterproof Mascara, the new Metal Eyes in Sour Grape and Clockwork Purple, the Gel Eyeliners in Afterlife, After Life and Haze Smoke Sessions, two nail decals and a neon crossbody sling bag that's not included in the bundle. I see there's also a shirt down there. Now, the palette is purple. The palette is very purple. It's beautiful, but it looks like it is very shimmer heavy. I could be wrong. I can't tell if that's three or four mattes in here, but the matte formula for Melt is what I enjoy. It's not so much their shimmers. They're just not my favorite. Um, the most recent releases from Melt just have not been anything that I've been gravitating towards. I've heard a lot of hit or misses from the formula. I did pick up the Bailey Syrian um, Fatally Yours eyeshadow palette, which I love, but it's an all matte eyeshadow palette. So judging off of everything else that's coming out and the fact that I already have these purple shades in my collection, I have purples and formulas that I absolutely love, this is going to be a pass for me. Now, this does come out on the 16th at 2 p.m. Central Time, and the 16th, that's tomorrow, right? Yes, it does come out tomorrow. Why the 16th? I feel like they missed the mark on it. Wouldn't you release this on the 20th? I don't know. I just, that kind of surprised me. I expected it to come out on 420 and it's coming out on 416. So that was weird to me. It missed the mark. But like I said, this is going to be a pass for me. As beautiful as it is and as much as I want to just rush in and order the whole thing, I just don't think it's anything I need. I don't think it's anything I would get a lot of use out of. Out of. I'm looking at the metal eyes and those just don't look like anything that I want to put on my eyes. I like the gel liners. I think those are beautiful, but nah, I just, I don't know. It doesn't really do it for me. I'm not super excited about it. So it's going to be a pass. All right, before we get into some sneak peeks of things that are coming out, I have one more thing that is released. This is from Notoriously Morbid and it is their Witching Hour Highlighter Pressed Palette. This is 30... $39.99 and this looks really pretty. One, I like the artwork. I think it's cute. I really enjoy seeing their artwork that they come out with. It reminds me of like old school unearthly when they used to do like a lot of like the neat creatures and artwork and stuff on their things. Now I think this is cute but I'm going to pass on it. I have colorful highlighters in my collection and I don't wear them a whole lot so I don't have a need for more of them. So it's going to be a pass for me. Um, I'm still wanting to try the brand. They have an eyeshadow palette that's supposed to be coming out. We talked about it. I can't remember recently in a new makeup Monday. I can't remember when we talk about everything but we haven't seen the color story of it yet, but I'm interested in it based off of the artwork. So that one I will probably pick up, but for now, this is going to be a pass. Okay, 
we have some sneak peeks. Let's start with this one from Charlotte Tilbury. So Charlotte Tilbury is coming out with what looks like possibly fragrances. There's six new items. She's kind of done her little sneak peek that she always does with the magic and the, the sparkle dust and everything. And she's given us names. We have Cosmic Power, Magic Energy, Joy, Foria, Calm, Bliss, Love, Frequency, More, Sex. Now these come out on, I have to read this date my way um april 15th which is today these come out today well today when you're watching it not today when i'm filming it i'm filming it on sunday but anyways these come out today so if i have if it comes out before this video goes up I will put down in the description box what it is and give you all the details. If it does not come out before this video goes up, which you already know, obviously, but if it does not, then we will talk about it next week. But I just have a feeling it's going to be fragrances and I don't know. It kind of, I'm kind of wondering, like, what does Charlotte Tilbury smell like? I don't know. I'm curious about it. I love fragrance, but I'm not like a fragrance connoisseur person. I can't look at notes and go, oh yes, that's gonna be what I like. I can't smell something and tell you, oh, I smell notes of this and this. I'm the person that has to go into the store, smell it and go, yes, I like it, no, I don't. So I can't really tell you. I know that I'm not a big fan of like floral fragrances and I'm not a big fan of like really fruity fragrances. I know I like the more like deep sultry fragrances, but as far as like gourmand and all that goes, I have no idea. So yeah, who knows what's coming out. We'll find out soon. Our next little sneak peek. I'm excited about these because I've loved the bronzers. I bought them. I've really been enjoying them, but NYX is coming out with the buttermilk blushes. We don't know when, we don't know how many shades. This little picture right here is all we have. So I have no idea, but I'm excited about them because I'm really enjoying the formula of the bronzers. They're just, they're pigmented, but they go on so beautifully. They smooth out beautifully. They just, they lay beautifully on the skin. They last all day. I'm really enjoying them. They are heavily fragranced, but it's a beautiful formula. So I'm excited about these. Whenever these come out, I will definitely be purchasing some. I'm going to assume they're probably going to be the same $10 price point as the bronzers, and they'll probably have that smell to them. This says, um, the formula melts into skin, silky smooth skin infused with mango, butter shea butter and almond butter so maybe a little bit more of a sweet smell I don't know I just know I'm excited about these I love blush I love bronzer I love it all I get excited about makeup I love makeup so yeah whenever we know more whenever these come out I'm definitely gonna pick some up and try them out all right last sneak peek we're probably gonna have some of these every week until this collection actually comes out but as we've talked about before and you know I'm excited about if you've been here Wicked Widow is collabing, well they're not collabing, but they are doing a 30th anniversary collection for The Crow. It is the, th the 30th anniversary of the movie. It has also been 31 years since Brandon Lee was killed making that movie, but they have released the first item, a sneak peek of it, and it is a, um, it's a handbag. It looks like it's a crossbody, maybe a backpack. It says it's a handbag backpack hybrid but it says here lies eric draven and shelly webster i love it it looks like the headstone i think it's really cool i think it's something that i would pick up but it's not anything that i would use i would just kind of have it sitting out because i do absolutely love the crow i love the movie i love everything about it um this item will be available for pre-order on may 3rd the rest of the collection does come out on may 3rd and it will retail for 66 dollars it's crafted from premium vegan faux leather embellished with an embroidered crow logo and our logo to intricately engrave the stone. Each zipper is adorned with a crow motif and additionally the purse comes with both a chain and straps for easy conversion into a backpack. So there you have it. I think it's cute. I'm excited about this collection. Like I cannot wait. I feel like a kid at Christmas waiting for this collection. I know we've had other collections come out before from other brands but this is like the first one in a really long time that I am just, I'm eagerly waiting. I cannot wait for this to come out, but I'm going to, oh, hello, Katie. Say hello. You gonna grace us with your presence? You wanna come say hello? Come here. 
Come here. <laughs> oh, big stretches. Say hello. <laughs> All right, y'all. So that is going to complete our video for this week. That is all of the new releases that have been announced, released, and sneak peeked. Let me know what you think, what all your thoughts down in the comments. Have you picked up any of these? What are you excited about? What are you going to skip on or what just like you're mortified by? Let me know all of your comments down in, uh, down in the description box. Let's have that conversation, light up that comment box. And as usual, I want to thank you all so much for spending your time with me and watching my video. It does mean so, so much to me. And if you did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up before you leave. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click on that notification bell so that you can be notified of all my future posts here on my channel. I do post quite a few videos every single week, most days, if not every day, and I wouldn't want you to miss one. But until my next video. Have a good one. Bye.